Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. It appears as if a small CME from an Earth-facing spot has shot out towards our planet. It is showing up here on ISWA, and we do have some visuals of the sun here where we can see. If you're going to just check out this region over here, right there is the flare uh, and associated CME. Let's go back here. Same area we're going to be looking at, just to the left of these sunspots. Right there, you can see it. And the reason I, I know it is probably a, a coronal mass ejection headed towards Earth is because over here at the SOHO data, let's slow it down. You'll see when it hits the 30th right here. It's going to hit the 30th here. Watch what happens to the data. They give you one, two o'clock, and then it goes to 15. They've scrubbed the data between two and 15. If we come over here to GOES X-ray flux, that's the time from here to here. And what we have in there is a long duration, moderate B flare, which I think uh, was the culprit. And that's where the coronal mass ejection came from, probably around uh, eight, nine, 10 to 11. And so that data will eventually be up after they get to look at it before we do. And we will update you tomorrow. This baby is going to be coming uh, in just a few days. And at the same time, on the fourth here, we have a, a, a particularly strong coronal hole stream that will also be impacting. So if we come over to ESWA, there's the shot. It's, it shows it's going to hit Earth right there on the third, third to the fourth. It doesn't look particularly strong, except for a short duration. Could have a small geomagnetic storm associated with it, uh, maybe up to KP5, 6. Who knows? It's just a B flare, a CME from a small B flare. So that's what I'm seeing here. And we will update you in the future, uh, probably tomorrow night during a podcast. So a small coronal mass ejection headed directly towards Earth. I believe it is from a B flare that has been scrubbed from Soho for right now. And we'll bring you back and give you one more look at that pu puffing out of right here. There it is. And it's headed our way. This is a great test of our grid and a tiny little flare like this to just see what it does to Earth systems as far as communication, satellite maybe a radio blackout, but it's coming right for us on the third. Hope you got something out of the video. NASA is doing what it's always done. The last decade we've been watching the sun. This is what happens whenever a CME comes off the sun, they scrub the data and they get to look at it before we do. Isn't that nice of them? And here you can see the timestamp coming up on the 30th, and then it goes two hours and skips to 15, and that's all you get. Thanks, NASA. For detailed analysis, check out Solar Ham. In the meantime, you can be following these sunspots. You can also read the next uh, forecast text discussion where it will be discussing that CME probably in the next several hours or so. There'll be another update. So a coronal mass ejection heading direct it, directly our way, nothing big, but definitely something that we can observe and watch the science as it develops. With our waning magnetosphere, there should be some geomagnetic effects, including storm. So people that have particular health risks that might be flared up by this, stay calm, be safe, we love you. And that is a CME boom, headed our way. Thanks, NASA.